Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Asad International Academy. First time in 2021, today I am here to explain the theory of unbiasedness and consistency with shortcut and conceptual method which nobody tells you about that. This lecture contains two parts. In first part, I have discussed about the unbiasedness. You can say that what is the biased estimator, what is unbiased estimator differentiate between bias estimator and unbiased estimator and what is the difference between positively unbiased estimator and negatively unbiased estimator and what is blue what is the best linear unbiased estimator and in second part which is the end part of this lecture i will discuss about the theory of consistency what is the consistent estimator what is the criteria for consistency what will be the criteria for checking the consistency of an estimator? Everything is available in this lecture. So must watch this lecture from starting to end. And don't skip any steps if you want to get more concepts. So without wasting any time, let's start the lecture. So here, I will first of all discuss about the unbiasedness, which is the unbiased estimator. What is the unbiased estimator? Very, very easiest definition I will discuss about. Now I'm going to share unbiased estimator. You can write here an estimator. Just follow the steps. An estimator is said to be an estimator is said to be unbiased. If its expected value, if its expected value equal to its population parameter, equal to its population parameter. Population parameter that is, you can say that expectation of theta hat is equal to theta. So, this is the main formula of unbiased estimator. Very, very easy definition for the step theta hat is the point estimator, and theta is the population parameter right here, theta hat. Theta hat is, you can say that point estimator, point estimator, and theta is the population parameter, population parameter. Now, just follow the steps here. An estimator. This is an estimator is said to be unbiased if its expected value. E shows here expected value equal. This is shows that equal to its population parameter, which is theta. Just that's called as unbiased estimator. For example, you can write here. For example, for example, I take a I take an easiest sample to, to, uh, to consider it very easily. I write here mu x bar, you already know that is equal to expectation of x bar is equal to mu. So here x bar, you can say it is, so x bar is the unbiased estimator. You can compare that, this is the uh, theta hat is equal to x bar. You can write here theta hat is equal to x bar because these are similar. So you can write here, so x bar is an unbiased estimator very very easy example unbiased estimator now then going to discuss about the biased estimator what is the difference between biased and unbiased estimator very very shortcut writing just follow the steps here you can write here an estimator is said to be Biased is said to be biased estimator
if its expected value if its expected value value does not equal to does not equal to so it does not equal to its population parameter does not equal to its population parameter that is you can write here expectation of theta hat does not equal to theta so this is the difference between unbiased estimated unbiased means no and unbiased means unbiased means no error must remember and by shows an error so this is the difference between expectation of theta hat does not equal to theta this is the bias estimator and expectation of theta is equal to theta this is the unbiased estimator now i'm going to discuss about the what is the difference between positively unbiased estimator and negatively unbiased estimator very very easiest you can write here expectation of theta hat Theta hat is the point estimator. E is shows here expectation, which is greater than theta. This is called as positively unbiased estimator. But in negatively case, you write here expectation of theta hat is theta hat is less than theta. So this is called as negatively unbiased estimator. If it is greater than expectation of point estimator is greater than the theta is the population parameter. This is called as positively unbiased estimator. And last, you can write the definition. An estimator set to be negatively unbiased estimator. You can write the definition in the definition yourself. If its expectation value of point estimator is less than the population parameter, that's clear. Last and the last point is here. I'm going to discuss about the what is blue and what is the best linear unbiased estimator. Just follow the steps. Among very very important point. Among many. Unbiased estimators, unbiased estimators, that estimator, that estimator would be best linear unbiased estimator. Would be best linear unbiased estimator. Very good for last quarter point estimator for which variance is least. For which variance is least. Variance is least. You must remember that among many unbiased estimators, that estimator would be best in unbiased estimator for which variance is least. You must remember that. I hope that you gain a lot of points and lot of concepts about that. These are very very easiest definition. But this is not end. Now we will discuss about the second part. In second part, I am going to show you the theory of consistency. What is the consistent estimator? What should be the criterion for checking the consistency estimator? Must also pass now, which is coming now. An estimator is said to be. Consistent estimator. Very, very easiest definition. Just follow the step. Consistent estimator. If if it approaches to if it approaches to or closer to or closer to a population parameter
population parameter if sample size is increased if sample size is increased that is the formula we are using here limit as n approaches infinity as you can write here sample size which is n is increased n approaches infinity that's here probability of bracket modulus of theta hat which is the point estimator minus you can write here approaches to closer to population parameter which is the theta that clear next less than equal to e bracket clause is equal to 1 so this is the definition of consistent estimate that's clear now I'm telling you the first of all you have to remember the formula by this formula you can you can write the definition very easily just follow an estimator this is an estimator which is, is said to be consistent estimator if it approaches to or closer to a population parameter which is the theta if sample size is increased that's called as consistent estimator very very short term. next point next the last point here very a uh, question mark is that here what should be the criterion for checking the consistency of an estimator what is the criteria for consistency this is very very important now follow the steps here follow this is an estimator an estimator would be consistent an estimator would be consistent if variance of theta hat if variance of theta hat is the estimator you can write here variance of theta hat becomes zero becomes zero if n approaches infinity so this is the criteria for checking the consistency an estimator would be consistent if variance of theta hat becomes zero as n if n approaches infinity now I'm going to share here four examples I will discuss about the example to imagine that very easily you can you can uh, you can do it himself or the formula is written flat suppose that point estimator point estimator theta hat is equal to x bar which I have already discussed about that you can write here expectation of theta hat is equal to theta I have already discussed about that an expectation of x bar is equal to mu which shows that theta hat is equal to theta hat is equal to x bar we know that as you know that sigma square x bar sigma square x bar is equal to sigma square over n which is already know the formula of that now taking the limit on both sides now i'm going to share the put the limit on both sides limit as n close this will be just like of that sigma square x bar that's clear next point limit as n approaches infinity sigma square divided by n that's clear n approaches infinity i will put here infinity one sigma square divided by infinity as you know that as you know that one over infinity always equal to zero so right here sigma square infinity will be zero so i prove that if Variance of as which would be consistent if variance of theta had become zero if n approaches infinity. So I have proved that this is our criterion for consistency. I hope that you gain a lot of points and concepts about the unbiasedness and consistency. You can also share this lecture with your classmates and friends so that they also have a benefit of it. Thanks for watching the video. If you like this video, then can you must subscribe to my YouTube channel must press bell like a button to get a notification of my new lecture and new lecture is coming down after that 
efficiency of estimators and and last point sufficient sufficiency sufficient statistics so uh, also was there goodbye